Michael, hot on the heels of Saturday's 4-2 win, um, a new deal for, for George Lloyd. Um, tell me the thinking of you know behind uh, the move. Well, he's a, a young player we th we've got high thoughts of, uh, highly regarded, come to the system and obviously been one of the younger ones. Um, just trying to bring him into a bit more in line with with what other players are, so it's trying to protect your assets essentially, that's, that's the thinking behind it. And getting that deal, is that something that was on the cards before the season started or is that something that he's earned from returning for pre-season and up until last weekend? It's, it's something he's, he's earned in, in 12 months since I've been here, he's had a good upward curve of development, he's been out and learnt, came back at the back end of last season, done well and he's started this season all right as well. He hasn't scored a goal yet, but it's the signs of at the age that he is. It's, it's the development curve, and at the, at the minute he's still on an, an upward trajectory. So that's that's the key. And in terms of selection, obviously he's had opportunities in the first team this year. Um, I mean, how close is he to sort of really knocking on that door? Is it is it a difficult decision of, of what to do with him each week? Yeah, well I think we had four centre forwards on the bench on Saturday, so and he's he started a couple of games. He did well against Exeter on the Tuesday night, so he's. It's not a case of is he ready yet. We think he's ready. It's just whether it's the right, right time, right game to pick him or not. Because again, six centre forwards at the minute, so he's only played two. Yeah. Um, obviously, you go to Salford this weekend, and it's sort of, I suppose, deja vu again in terms of looking for an away performance and an away result off the back of a home victory. Is there anything different you can say to the players, or is it a case of saying the same sorts of things and hoping that? It, go, it goes in and they can put it into practice. I think it's a bit more work than just hope. Um, it's been a lot of work gone in. It, you know, the, the players are the same. So it's there's been work done. And to be honest, I'd take a performance rather than a result at the minute. We don't know like having a performance away from home. Now that might, people might say that might sound stupid, but I want us to play the way we play. We've gone away from home and we've asked them to do the same things, but they've not done what we've asked them to do. So I'd rather get beat trying to play the way we play at the minute than go away from home and sort of just do, sort of try and hang on and, and try not to get beat. I wish to go and get, get, get the ball, move the ball and do what we're good at. And then hopefully that in turn delivers a performance which delivers a result off the back of it. So I think that's the key is having the bravery to take the ball, not dropping out into certain positions then whacking it because that's no good for nothing. We don't, A, we don't win the game, we don't keep a clean sheet and we don't look like a threat. So that, that's, that's and it is, there's, there's a big mental side to it as well. But I thought we got rid of our away record on Tuesday night at Slimbridge. I, th I think we're fine. Absolutely, and Alex Adoy scored a couple of goals that night. So um, how good is that in terms of his return to fitness and just sort of you know, back in the groove? Well, three goals in two games against different types of opposition. Alex needed minutes, he was short of minutes. Um, he hadn't played a 90 till, until pre-season. So that's why he played in the game, no, no other reason other than that. That's why he came off after 70 minutes, because we didn't, you know, going into Saturday, there's a chance he might play on Saturday. So, and it was good, because it's difficult to come from where he did, he's come on in the league and scored, and then he's got to go and play with respect, Slimbridge, with pretty much shooting players. But his attitude was top class. Um, and he got results for his hard work and his and his endeavour. Salford obviously have come into the league. What what have you made of, of their start so far? Um, I think Gres will be slightly frustrated. They've been obviously hard hard to beat, but they've drawn with five on the spin. I think they've drawn five on the spin. So they they are they they'll reflect him. Um, they'll be well organised. They, they they're physical. Um, and they, they, are, they are a threat, they've got some good players in the top end of the pitch, but the organisation proves that they're, they're difficult to beat. So it's, I'm sure it'll be an interesting game. Um, supporters, it's a new ground for them to go to. And, and it, it is a team on the up, no doubt about that. You look at the, their trajectory in the last six, seven years, and, they've, and it's difficult to keep it going and keep it going and keep it going. But Grez had done well last year, got them up again at the first time of asking. Um, so it's you know, make no mistake, it's going to be a tough game. And as well as them being difficult to beat, does the five draws also show you how difficult it is to get wins in League Two? Well, I tell our players that all the time. It's not easy to win a game of football. To win a game of football, a lot of people need to turn up and deliver, and sometimes you need a little bit of luck. 
and it's blood, sweat and tears added with quality. So it's not supporters might think. There's a lot of work goes into winning a game of football during the week and on a Saturday. So it's, it, it is tough. We need to go and win away from home. That's the key. Injuries, obviously, you've had nearly a spine of the team out in recent weeks. Are any of those players who have been on the sidelines getting closer now? Um, I think Max Sheaf would be closer. I don't think he'd be ready to start, but he might be available. Um, they're all a week closer. No one's, no one's ready to come back in yet, but it's good news as regards to that they're all getting a little bit closer because, like I said, we've had a lot of injuries, I think four or five, and I've not managed to name the same team back-to-back -back yet as well, which is frustrating. But on a positive, it's you're still competing with what you consider first team players out. And as you said, you've got all those strikers on the bench. I mean, the bench has almost been a goalkeeper plus strikers of, of the last couple of games, hasn't it? Does that sort of how much flexibility does that give you if you need to chase the game, which obviously you don't want to be doing, but if you have to? Well, it's it's, it's needs must. It's the only fit people we've had really. Um, it's good to have different options to come off the bench and affect the game. It's slightly different if you get three defenders get injured because then you are struggling, but we'll, we'll hopefully have a bench strong enough and to cover all bases. Um, we've got players that are adaptable, we can play two or three positions. And like you said, we've got different types. You've got Alex who's small and quick, you've got Tav who's a bit of everything, John T's tall and quick. So uh, that's, and then Lloydie's a bit of everything again. You know, So it's, we have to, it's up to the staff to pick the right player from the start, and if we need to chase the game, pick the right one to affect the game properly as we want it. And if you can start picking up results away from home, what could this team do? Well, that's 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 the case. We've scored 12 goals in four games at home. I think we've taken uh, 10 points at home from four games, but we've taken. It's it is a conundrum. It's a it's a, it's a strange phenomenon. I've never seen anything like it really. Such a disparity between home and away with the same group of players playing the same formation. But if we can start winning away, the key is you've got to keep winning at home. Ultimately, you, you want to pick points up. That's all we're trying to do, to pick up as many points as you can. Ideally, you pick them at home and away, but if you were to get 70 points all at home, then you take them. It's, it's, it's a points collection, it's not a home and away thing. But, contradiction is we, we would like to start picking up a few more away wins. You agree, you just want all points everywhere, don't you? Yeah.